Hi friends, welcome back to Welltech QC, the YouTube channel of Lloyd's Institute of Technologies. I am Vincent. So friends, in our previous video, that's in part one, types of joints and types of wells. We have discussed about five basic types of joints and seven types of groove wells. Now, we will further discuss about the remaining types of wells in this concluding video. Let us start. After discussing about the groove wells, various types of groove wells, we will go into the next category that is fillet wells. A weld of approximately triangular cross section. In a lap joint, T joint, or corner joint is called fillet weld. And as, as I told you, fillet weld is one of the widely used type of wells in the world. Because most of the wells you will find in these three joints, either it is a T joint or a lap joint or a corner joint, which is obviously be a fillet weld. So this is uh, various uh, profile of the fillet. This is uh, mitre fillet, which uh, the face will be straight. This is the convex type, convex fillet, and the other one is concave fillet. And uh, the, these are the three applications what we discussed just now. Three applications of uh, fillet weld, uh, three various joints, T on T joint, on corner joint, and on a lap joint. Now let us see the parts of fillet weld. Here the concave fillet weld. The concave fillet weld will have a leg differently than its size because the size is measured only up to here not up to here this is waste this is waste so the size is up to this point to this point and from this point to this point so this is the size of the weld and to the edge it is leg so only in the concave fillet weld you will have a different leg and different size. In the other two types, that is uh, the convex fillet weld and uh, uh, mitre fillet weld, the leg and the size will be same, like in this case. The from here to here is the leg as well as the size. This is known as weld face and from here up to the penetration of the fillet weld to this straight line here is known as effective throat and this is theoretical throat. Effective throat from here to here or it is known also known as actual throat and this from this point to this point it is known as theoretical throat. The other categories of types of weld other than the groove wells and fillet weld, edge weld is the next category, weld is done on the edges, this edge flange weld when it is one side is bent this like this edge flange and corner flange weld next in category is the arc sport weld sport it is widely known as sport weld yeah sport weld the arc sport weld is accomplished by melting through the top member here 
from the top member it is melting through the top member using a welding process so that the fusion occurs between the top member and the and the member it overlaps there are two members here one upon the other is overlapped so the weld is done on top of this one and the fusion is taken place up to the the bottom plate also and there will be pictures for the the sport welds accordingly the sport weld takes place and uh, similarly uh, we will discuss about the seam weld the arc seam weld is the american welding uh, society's terminology the arc, the arc seam weld is almost similar to the, the sport weld except that the in, that the instead the weld being applied in a single spot in sport weld it is applied in a single spot in this case it form a continuous weld like this forms a continuous weld and the in the other case it was on a particular spot and that's why it is known as spot weld and here it is a seam a longer weld and that's why it is known as arc seam weld now we'll uh, see the next one that is known as plug weld and slot weld so let us discuss about the plug weld what is plug weld a plug weld in a circular hole yeah in a circular hole in one member of the joint fusing that member to another member like here you have to weld the fusion take place on on the overlapped plate the the lap joint the bottom plate and the plug it is plugged the hole is normally closed so it is fu fused along with this one so that is known as plug weld you plug the hole Similarly, a slot weld is a weld made in a elongated hole in one member of the joint, fusing that member to another member. While welding this member, along with this member, you are fusing on this surface here, the this location of this plate. Here you are fusing it. so since the shape of the hole is an elongated one it is known as slot or slot weld the shape is a slot shape is known as a slot and so it is called as a slot weld the hole may be open end is not necessary that it will be plugged like this in this case it it may may be just filled half the way or whatever size it is mentioned in the weld symbol the next in category is surfacing weld a weld applied to a surface weld applied to a surface to obtain a desired properties or dimensions is called surfacing weld some cases uh, you will be recurring Uh, some barrier to corrosion or abrasion so that to avoid the use of full thickness of this expensive material if you are uh, uh, only this surface partly to be protected from the abrasion or corrosion 
you can have a surfacing weld with a with a required type of electrodes which will have an alloy which will be protecting it from the abrasion or corrosion or even if you want to just increase the thickness up to a certain area uh, in that case also you can do the surfacing weld to build up build up the material to increase this thickness so that is the use of surfacing weld next in the line finally we will be discussed about back weld and backing weld later although they are applied to the same location that is in this location they may not they differ depending upon when they are deposited in this case it is deposited after welding the front side then the back weld is done and for the backing weld it is exactly opposite we will come to that so once again a back weld is a weld made at the back of a single groove weld back of single groove weld single v groove weld or single groove weld therefore the back weld is applied after completion of the front side after completion of this front side weld this back weld is applied after training it uh, most of the cases back weld is applied and uh, in case of uh, back we'll discuss about the backing weld okay the backing weld location is the same you can see that but uh, actually a backing weld is applied as a backing in the form of weld so this weld is done first so that before welding this this functions as a backing for the for this weld so this done this backing weld is done first whereas in the back weld this weld is done first and later on back weld is done here in the backing weld this other way around your backing weld is done first so that you get a backing before welding this one then you start welding the top portion or front portion of the weld the front weld so therefore the backing weld is applied prior to the welding of front side as i just explained so hope and uh, this will be highly helpful for uh, uh, understanding the weld symbols which will come in in our later videos so until then goodbye we'll see you in the next thank you